Adam Eidinger is with us. He is a, the spokesperson for Occupy Monsanto. The website is Occupy-Monsanto.com. And Adam, welcome to the program. Hey, thanks for having me on. So, you got a gig going on tomorrow. Well, uh, it's not just our gig. I, this was this is a decentralized movement. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, our group didn't even initiate the call for these protests. There were activists uh, out in Seattle who said, you know what, let's do this next month. It was like about a month ago. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, really, there's just so much momentum around the food issue in this country. People are really fed up with the lack of choice, the lack of transparency, the lies, the, p p the political control that, th that Monsanto has been spewing. And they really have some control of the media now. Um, if you look, listen to the National Public Radio, you will he regularly hear uh, promotions for Monsanto. And if you look at uh, CNN and, and MSNBC and Fox, they're all receiving large advertising budgets from all of the uh, biotech companies. And, and, and then you look at the campaign contributions. And if these companies, they might boast giving away uh, a couple hundred thousand dollars in scholarships in rural communities, and meanwhile, they'll turn around and spend, you know, forty million plus to defeat GMO labeling in the state of California last year. Right, and for the for just yeah, just let me let me just interject here for the actual march against Monsanto, which is happening over this weekend. Uh, it's March dash against dash Monsanto dot com. Um, back. That's right. Back to you, Adam. That's correct. That is the uh, main hub website. Although there are a network of. Uh, anti-Monsanto groups, uh, Millions Against Monsanto with the Organic Consumers Association comes to mind. Mm -hmm. And the, Dave, we've been networking for years now, uh, taking on this company. Um, I've actually spoken at the shareholder meeting the last two years. Um, very few uh, voices are... That's occupying are Monsanto. That's occupying Monsanto. Yeah. And um, so, anyway, we're going to be... We're sponsoring uh, so a, a, a number of demonstrations around... And including one at the White House tomorrow, we're going to be out there uh, with large numbers of people. We hope, and we're going to be marching to the Monsanto uh, offices here, the lobbying offices here, being in D.C. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we're well. Yeah. Okay. So how so people can learn all about this at occupy monsantocom dot uh, com. That's right. And um, you know. We encourage people to come on out and bring their creativity. We encourage people to bring shopping carts because mm -hmm. uh, we're shopping for truth. <laughs> and it's a great metaphor. Yeah, well, we want we want transparency, and um, there, this issue does sort of bring together people of different political stripes, as yep. we noted earlier. Yep. And uh, there are a lot of different causes out there that are getting people out in the streets. Yeah, it turns out that you know a lot of conservatives do care about transparency. They think that the market can't function properly if companies can can get away with not disclosing novel genes that are inserted into these plants. Yeah, um, They are different than regular foods. They have patents. They're, they're totally unique and man-made. And people who maybe have allergies uh, should have a right to know what's in their food. So we're all, we're pretty much all united on that issue. And uh, even some of the people who oppose over, you know, tough government regulation believe that there should still be truth in labeling. Yeah, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm totally with you. Adam Eidinger, the uh, website is occupy-monsanto.com, and of course, march-against-monsanto.com. Adam, thanks a lot for being with us. Thanks for having me on the show. Keep up the great work, and good luck tomorrow. Boy, it's going to be a big day.